a self-driving Chevrolet Bolt EV that is in General Motors Co.'s autonomous vehicle development program appears on display at GMS Orion Assembly in Lake Orion. GM promises a not-so-distant future in which it sells a million electric vehicles worldwide per year while chauffeuring passengers in driverless taxis in dense urban areas, photo, Jose Juarez slash AP file. General Motors Co. may be pulling toward the front in the self-driving car marathon, but the 109-year-old automaker still has a lot to prove. The Detroit automaker showed some Motor City metal in Silicon Valley this year, establishing itself as an innovator of autonomous technology in a way its hometown competitors at Ford Motor Co. and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles NV haven't yet. GM promises a not-so-distant future in which it sells a million electric vehicles worldwide per year while chauffeuring passengers in driverless taxis in dense urban areas. But promising and delivering are two very different things. Despite impressive financial performance in recent years, GM remains burdened with a long history of breaking promises and consuming vast amounts of capital before its collapse into bankruptcy eight years ago. When I talk about exciting technology, it's not just about what's going to be here in 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 years it's what's going to be here in 2 months and what we'll be launching next year, CEO Mary Barra said at an Automotive Press Association event this week. We're working hard to demonstrate to people that we're innovative, responsible I think that's very important, and I guess transformative. Competitor Tesla Inc. still appears to be struggling with delivering on its promises, but without much consequence on Wall Street. Forgiveness from investors, consumers, dealers, and even the United Auto Workers might not come so easily for GM as it attempts to shed its legacy as a slow-moving dinosaur and join the ranks of youthfully nimble Silicon Valley players. If GM says here's our fleet and it doesn't work, that could be risky for them, said Mike Ramsey an automotive analyst for Gartner Inc. Technology Research Company GM's aggressiveness has been motivating others, but they run a risk of hurting themselves if they put technology out and it doesn't work. GM showed off its self-driving technology to analysts and technology reporters ahead of an investor day last month, garnering mixed reviews. Its autonomous test Chevrolet Bolt was bested by double-parked cars and even a taco truck when the Bolt waited for more than a minute as construction workers ordered lunch, according to Reuters. To a certain degree, GM is guilty of being too dismissive of everyone else's technology, Ramsey said, referring to the way the Detroit automaker's bravado irks GM's competitors at Waymo. Alphabet Inc.'s self-driving spin-off put its self-driving cars on the busy streets of San Francisco more than two years ago. Waymo's specially equipped Chrysler Pacificas appear to handle the challenge with a bit more ease than GM's all-electric Bolt test cars. The Detroit automaker's autonomous cars have been involved in a majority of the reported self-driving accidents on California roads this year, according to the California Department of Motor Vehicles database.